Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming into the reading. Capricorn, this is going to be your own reading today. Yes, it is. And, uh, of course, if we, um, you know, if this turns into a love reading, and it might, we are going to definitely have an extended reading, and uh, we're going to have the Gypsy spread in the extended as well. So let's see what we have right now, Capricorn. And you have, uh, with these Oracle cards, of course, uh, you have metamorphosis. This was my first card pulling, pulling here. This is a major transformation. We see all the butterflies. Uh, and metamorphosis is when things are changing. Like, uh, it is the process of change, right? It is supposed to be when the, uh, I feel like it's the caterpillar, you know, turns into the, uh, into the, into the butterfly, which is really, really beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I <clears throat> hope they don't try to GMO the butterflies, right? So let's see what we have, you guys. And uh, the Moonlight card is here. You're using your intuition, Capricorn, for sure you are. And uh, this is telling you to trust your intuition, right? We also have this card of the Golden Children. talks about rare gifts, right? Uh, and, you know, the inner child, tenderness, things like that, innocence, but rare gifts. And, you know, I feel like they talk about maybe the inner child and innocence because little kids, their pineal gland is, uh, it hasn't been hardened by, uh, you know, so much fluoride and things like that or, you know, because they're still young, right, or too much sugar or whatever. They, it hasn't been, uh, and other things that, you know, they're in our environment. So this is why the little kids are the ones who are, like, shown in those movies, right, where, oh, yeah, I saw Grandma. You're like, what? A grandma's been dead for 10 years. Well, I did, Mom. I'm, I'm telling you the truth. Please believe me. This is why kids are able to do that. Yeah, because their pineal glands are quite, quite healthy. That's it. They're not crystallized. Yeah. And then you have uh, also, Capricorn, the presence. You're missing somebody here, Capricorn. You always get this card, all right? Maybe it's power and light, right? I'm just teasing. And then we have the marriage and the travel card here. So, you know... Maybe, you know, I feel like you want to marry somebody. You love them. And maybe uh, maybe you will marry them. We have the Metamorphosis card. This is major change and transformation. And we have adventures. So, you know, this, uh, if you do marry somebody here in this reading, Capricorn, <laughs> uh, it's going to be an adventure. It's going to be, like, exciting. This is not, you know, you're marrying somebody because, oh, they have a great job. And uh, not like that. This is, like, exciting and romantic and, like, uh, full. Yeah, full, I should say, or vast, maybe. The travel card, I feel like you're taking some type of a trip, Capricorn, right? Maybe it's on cloud nine. Maybe it is. I hope it is. But I hope it's, you know, I hope it's both, right? Spiritual and spiritual journey and a real trip, right? And the eel showing up. The eel is dishonesty or an electric magnetic connection, either one. So let's see. We have, uh, and we have the Ten of Pentacles. And we're going to do this particular uh, spread today. And let's see. In the past was the Knight of Cups. What's on your mind is the Seven of Pentacles. So you don't know how something's going to turn out. Uh, you don't, and, you know, maybe somebody's married here with this Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords. You could be in despair here because somebody's married. It's, possi it's possible. The marriage card right here. I feel like there has been some type of dishonesty showing up. We have the Seven of, seven of Swords right here. And maybe this is you. Could be you. Maybe being, you know, we're not all angels and perfect. Uh, we try as we get older. I feel like we do. When we're younger, we don't sometimes give a shit. <laughs> You're like, I'm going to do whatever I want. I don't care uh, about any toes I step on on the way up. Yeah. It's, yeah. I mean, hopefully it's not terrible because that stuff happens in, uh, in the entertainment business, right? Or in, uh, in big business where there's money. People don't care if they hurt the other people. Uh, yeah. And let's see what else we have, you guys. And in your challenge, Capricorn is the Queen of Swords, mm -hmm. this is uh, in your environment, I should say, that your environment is the Queen of Swords, and let's see what you, uh, what you are wanting or hoping for, let's see what Capricorn want, wants or hopes for, and it is the King of Swords, okay, so maybe you want an air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, especially with the Queen next to the King, uh, but I feel like you want some type of a decision, maybe you want somebody to make a decision to marry you, it's possible. Right? It's a possibility. Maybe you want change with the metamorphosis card showing up by way of a decision. But there is some type of, you know, the five of uh, swords is in your your root. This is chaos and conflict. OMG. 
It is. So let's look at your, your reading here. And the Ten of Pentacles showing up with the Five of Pentacles. I feel like you left somebody out here because they were being deceptive. It's a possibility. The Seven of Swords. Let's see. <clears throat> the Hangman. You might have felt stuck with them because they were being kind of sneaky. Maybe they're in a marriage. Looks like you left somebody out. Or you felt left out. Nine of Wands. Okay, here you are. This is why you're in the Seven of Pentacles energy. You don't know what's going to happen uh, in a particular situation. But what is clear here is that you want a major transformation. Uh, <clears throat> and that, you know, like you have these intuitive, these spiritual abilities. Yeah, you have intuitive, you have your, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're missing somebody, somebody who I feel like who has been dishonest, but I also feel like you're missing somebody who is like electromagnetic. Like you guys have this electric connection. So you're worried here about what's going to happen as the Nine of Wands. You've, you've already been injured by this person. Let's look at the Five of Swords. So, you know, you could be in despair right now and maybe you have, you could have turned your back on them because they were kind of like manipulative. I, with the Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords here, I would say so. Yeah. I feel like you turned your back on them. And <clears throat> you could be wondering still if you could manifest a situation with them. You could be wondering that. Because this Nine of Wands is kind of a wondering. It's somebody who's wounded, but they are kind of wondering what's going to happen. They don't know, and they have fear, though. And over here is not so much fear, but more an analysis. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. And let's see what else is in your root. Let's see. The Page of Wands. Yeah, you don't know if you're going to have a new path with somebody. I feel like that's it. And let's see. The, the Knight of Cups is what you want with the Ace of Wands reversed. You want this love offer from this person. I just feel like, you know, things could be changing here. Uh, I just think you, I feel like for some of you guys, you are really going to marry this person. This is kind of episode, you know, uh, you know, <clears throat> 589 or 989, seriously, okay? <laughs> but the Seven of Pentacles is uh, what's on your mind or crowning your thoughts with the Four of Cups. You could be wondering here if, if you have missed an opportunity with them, whatever that is. Like, it could have been like a week ago. Like, I wonder if they wanted to see me, but I kind of cut them off. Or it, it, just some type of wondering about a missed opportunity. And you could also be, uh, this could be an energy where they are married here, because there's sneaky energy here for sure. There is like some type of manipulation. You could be like uh, kind of... Wondering uh, if they're going to let somebody go here, it's possible, because they might be married to somebody right here. Yeah, with this kind of sneaky energy. Judgment reverse. Mm -hmm. You could be wondering if they are making a decision, because in your desire is the king of swords. You either want an air sign, or you're wondering, or you want them to make a decision. Here you are in the past, in this energy where uh, you had the knight of cups, and let's get another card on the recent past. Now, this isn't what you want. This is in the recent past. I'm kind of mixing up these spreads. And Leo, the card of Leo. I feel like you, this is in the past. I feel like you had an offer, some type of relationship with somebody, but I feel like it didn't amount to a brand new beginning, like something that would, like a real union. Yeah, I feel like in the past you had some type of relationship where you were, maybe you were their girlfriend and they're married. Or maybe you were their boyfriend and they're married, something like that. But whatever you had in the past, <clears throat> you could have been trying to use your, your, your courage here. But this could be Leo, right? But whatever you had in the past, you might have been patient too. You might have been patient in the past, waiting for them to like make this metamorphosis. Because this is somebody you, you miss, uh, Capricorn. So in the past, you had some type of affection for them, something like that. But you didn't have like... A full-on like union that's how it looks and you didn't have a new beginning that you wanted and what's on your mind here is you could be um, maybe this is about a missed opportunity I feel like you are wondering here 
uh, what's going to happen, but also judgment reversed. I feel like you want a rebirth with them. I feel like you do, but uh, in this reading, I feel like they weren't giving you what you really want, like like the full on. They're not giving you the full the package, Capricorn, right? Yeah, they're telling you, you know, uh, you know, you can have this kind of <clears throat> diet coke and this like artificial, you know, popcorn that's been put all this kind of coloring or preservatives on it, and that's what they're offering you, right? And they go, well, it tastes good. This. Uh, this diet coke with all these chemicals in it, right? And you can have the popcorn here. Look, we we pop it in the microwave, and you go, no, I want the popcorn that we <clears throat> that we put on top of the stove that is just kernel corns. I want some organic juice with it, something like that. You did, you were not getting like the full on, right? So let's look at uh, your your near future, the Ace of Swords, and we have the Wheel of Fortune. This is in the near future. And this is the Queen of Pentacles. This is you. You look like you're having victory, and it's a faded victory. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're dealing with Sagittarius, possible. Let's get another card. Ace of Cups, OMG, and the Eight of Swords. Okay. So here you are in the near future. You're feeling really, really stuck here, right? And there, this could be like, this is really interesting in the near future. You have two Aces, the Ace of Cups in your near future. I feel like you feel really stuck. Maybe there's a Sagittarian blocking you. Maybe your person is Sagittarius. We have Pisces, Leo, Scorpio with, you know, the Judgment card. And then we have the Queen of Swords here. And she is Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. And the King's over here. This could be a couple that really need to be together here. Right? Could be sometimes soulmates with the same element. But... In the near future, you feel really stuck here about, you feel like bound and there's fear here. Like, I feel like it's, am I going to have a new beginning with them? I feel like it's about your clarity or it's about a decision with the Ace of Swords. And this is faded. This is, this is faded, whether or not this is a Sagittarian. There's something divine here, right? Yeah, there is. Let's look at uh, the Seven of Wands, and this is your, this is your, the Seven of Wands is your, your concern, right? Or possibly a worry, if, especially with the Seven of Wands and the Three of Swords. I mean, these cards and the concern are like a major concern. This is worry for sure. And this is your concern here. I feel like there's a third party here. Yeah, there is. Definitely. I was saying that like earlier that I think that they could be married. There's some type of third party here. Marriage type union. Yeah. You want this new beginning and over here in the past, they offered you something. But as I said, with my popcorn analogy, right, you know, you could be saying, I like Diet Coke, Denise, and I like that. Uh, leave me alone. And I like that popcorn that you pop in, you know, it's really bad for you, you guys. <laughs> it's really horrible. <laughs> You can get a popcorn popper, I think, for 15 bucks and pop your own. That's what my roommate used to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she had popcorn all over the counter because, you know, she's a mess. <laughs> Let's see we have, you guys. And the, uh, the Knight of Swords. Mm -hmm. So this is right here, uh, Capricorn. This is your concern. You want them to take action and cut somebody out. You're really overwhelmed. about. The, you're, you're, I feel like you're heartbroken. You're, you were. I don't mean you might not, I don't think you're heartbroken now. I feel like you were heartbroken about this situation. This is your concern. You want a new beginning with somebody. This is so clear. And your your environment is the Queen of Wands is showing up with the Queen of Swords. So this could be your person. I feel like you are discerning a fire sign, but you know, maybe you are discerning an air sign or you and maybe they're involved with a fire sign. It could be I mean, the, the combination here is kind of like, you know, it's a big mix because it's a, it's a reading for the collective. But I feel like here you are discerning this person. And this is in your environment. Yeah. And we have the, uh, the Empress. And you are the Empress. You're the third party, passionate, beautiful, uh, you know, make my projects, make my dreams come true, like a uh, person who works and stuff like that. This is you. And you could be a guy, right? For sure. You don't. 
it's usually feminine energy, but, you know, we're not really talking gender so much. We're talking energies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in your environment, uh, Sagittarius, uh, Capricorn, sorry, is you are discerning whether or not this is going to really come to fruition. I feel like you are. The emperor. So this could be Aries energy, but I feel like you are discerning if they are ever going to prepare for this and come forward. Over here, you're really overwhelmed. I feel like you want them to cut somebody out. And in your desire is the King of Swords, Capricorn, with the World card. You want them to make a decision to have a new journey with you. Right? To live a life with you. To have a world with you. Yeah, the world of Capricorn, right? Which is typically abundant and uh, down to earth. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else we got. Six of Swords. You want them to make a decision here to leave somebody. And to take you out of this choppy, this choppy energy where you are kind of challenged. Yeah, the, uh, the Five of Swords, really challenging energy. Seven of Wands, I mean major. You want this adventure with them. This person's exciting to you, right? And we have the Eel card. They've been dishonest. But this is an electromagnetic connection that you can't... <coughs> You can't deny. We have the metamorphosis card and the marriage card. For some of you guys, you are really going to end up marrying this person. You are. Regardless of whether or not they're in a marriage or not right now. Because some of, some of them are. Yeah, that's what this kind of reading is about. So we're going to end this reading, uh, Capricorn. And uh, yeah, let's see. Let's put, the, uh, let's put these uh, gypsy cards out because we're going to go ahead and... Uh, clarify them and also we're going to have our regular uh, extended which is uh, all about their current situation their challenges what they want what they fear because this is not their you know their spread all about them how they feel about you how they see the situation what you don't know about them and uh, yeah things like that so let's get the uh, and the whoops these are, these are not the right cards I don't want these cards no I don't let's see what we have for you Capricorn and these have been shuffled and the present situation is the constancy card. In the past is the soldier. This is somebody that's like a love it and leave it person. They could have brought you news maybe, but this is kind of a love it and leave it. Uh, and I feel like this person, we're going to find out, but uh, yeah, it could have, maybe they brought you news in the past. And I feel like they have somebody, that's why the soldier's kind of a player, right? It doesn't mean they, they're going to be a player forever, but this is part of the past. Um, and let's see, unfolding is the death card. I feel like that's what you want. You want them to end it with somebody. I feel like that's it. And over here is the prison card. This is the obstacle. Um, mm -hmm. And the outcome is going to be the messenger. So we're going to find out all about this uh, messenger. is not just somebody who brings news. It is somebody who makes an offer. Yeah, it depends on, you know, the remainder of the spread. So we're going to end this. They're also super affordable, uh, Capricorn. I really want to go to your reading. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe.